Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back to show us some more plunder that I've acquired over the last little while. Got a couple nice stacks to go through, so I'm going to have to split this up into two videos. All of them are 2022 releases. I've picked up a lot of new releases uh, here lately. Some of them I've had a chance to listen to, some of them I have not. So yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. The first three, um, you'll notice something special about all three of them. But starting things off, we have Projected with Hypoxia. And as you see, it is signed by the entire band. This was a uh, autograph pre-order, which I was very excited about. And uh, yeah, if you are not familiar with Projected, they are a uh, hard rock band. Been around since 2012. Kind of like a super group, really, featuring John Connolly and Vinnie Hornsby of uh, Seven Dust. You also got members of uh, Alter Bridge and Tremonti in here. Uh, this is their third full-length album out on Rat Pack Records. And this actually came with a, uh, besides some stickers, really cool. Uh, guitar pick here of John Connolly's, and uh, yeah, really good hard rock band. I've not had a chance to listen to this other than the single that was put out, so I'm very anxious to check out the rest of it as I really dig John's playing. So yeah, very anxious to s listen to that. Next up, Motionless in White with Scoring the End of the World, and again, autographed by the entire band. Got this one through uh, my one of my favorite places to pre-order stuff when it comes to finding signed stuff. Newberry Comics. And uh, yeah, if you're not familiar with Motionless White, which a lot of people either hate them or love them, but I've come to enjoy them. This is a metalcore band out of Scranton, Pennsylvania. Been around since 2005. This is their sixth full-length album overall. Put out by uh, Roadrunner. Again, this is one of the ones that I have not had a chance to listen to, though I have heard some songs. Uh... On liquid metal while I've been driving to and from work and I really dig what I've heard so far uh, this one I've done a review of so if you want my full thoughts go check that review out this is a uh, Nagathula with Gore Vortex Ascension and uh, once again the band was really awesome enough to uh, sign this for me also picked up the uh, artwork shirt those finally came in but yeah, Black and Death Metal out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Been around since just last year in 2021. Featuring members of uh, Verment, Ascendant Master, among others. This is their debut EP. Put out on CD by Death Metal Industry. And uh, yeah, really happy to have this. Especially to have them sign it for me. They also sent me one of these little... Uh, basically a little flyer about the album. But it also serves as a little promo photo. And they even signed that for me. So if you guys are seeing this, thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate it. And that's it for all the sign stuff. <laughs> but yeah, next up, we have Creator with Hate Uber Alice. And, you know, Creator's a band I should really not have to talk too much about. Uh, thrash metal out of Germany. One of the big uh, big three, or I think you can consider big, yeah, big three out of... Uh, Germany, and as far as, you know, Teutonic Thrash goes, been around since 1984. This is their, I believe, 15th full-length album. And uh, I've only spun this twice, but I dig it. And I've noticed there's a lot of mixed opinions about this one, but uh, I've only spun it a couple times, like I said, but I dig it. I don't see what the hate is all about. Now, this next one, some might, there might be some that is consider this maybe a little bit of sketchiness. I don't buy into all that bullshit and everything i just enjoy the music whether they are or not i've never considered them that and i know a lot of people that are you know <clears throat> that i definitely trust their opinions and they don't th feel that way either but this is grand belial's key with kohanic charmers and yeah, this is a uh, black metal band out of Oakton, Virginia. Been around since 1992. Been around that long, and this is only their fourth full-length album put out by Veltenfiend. I believe is how you pronounce that. Um, really great black metal album. Um, comes on a uh, red disc, and this is only the second one I have ever seen on a red disc. Really cool stuff. Great album. Uh, yeah. Definitely go check this one out if you love solid black metal. Uh, this one, have not had a chance to listen to. Just got it in uh, the other day. This is Dizma with Earthendium. 
And yeah, these guys are a death metal band out of uh, Clifton, New Jersey. Been around since 2005. Features uh, current former members of uh, Incantation, uh, Blasphematory, Ceremonium, among others. This is only their second EP overall. They do have a full length out. Uh, this was put out by Necro Harmonic Productions. Took a little while to get here, but it is finally here. And I am very anxious to spin this because I've been hearing a lot of good things about that. This next one, if you're like me and getting very tired of waiting on uh, Mortician to finally put out some new material, this right here will definitely scratch that itch for you. This is Massacred with Human Extermination. And yeah, this is a band that I have talked to about quite a bit on here. This is uh, Brutal Death Metal slash Grindcore out of Argentina. Been around since 2017. A one-man project of... Um, guy called William Edwards. Uh, this is his debut full-length album put out by Corpse Gristle and uh, also came with this really awesome guitar pick. So yeah, really building up that guitar pick collection. But yeah, if you love Mortician, you will love Massacre. I mean, it's basically everything sounds just like uh, Mortician. Even the logo resembles Mortician. So yeah, very Mortician-esque, you could say. Next up, we have Holder with the Eternal Fanfare. Uh, another one I was very excited about when this got announced. Yeah, Holder, uh, one woman black metal out of Washington, been around since 2018. Basically, uh, the creation of a woman called Holder. So, yeah, this is her second EP overall, put out by 20 Bucks Spin and damn this is good so so good uh the opening track on here basically it actually has clean female vocals which her latest album or should i say her debut album god's last Street, that has some clean vocals in it but these ones here on that opening man that could be off of something like shield of wings or maybe even night which it just has that epicness to it i really dug that but still really excellent black metal release go check it out uh, next one is a band that I've seen a uh, lot of people talk about, and uh, I finally got around to uh, picking something up from them. Sorry, I was kind of getting my notes all ready here. But this is Vioaggression with Third Stage of Decay. And yeah, these guys are a death metal band out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Been around since 1989, featuring current and former members of bands like Splattered Cadaver, Brutality, Divine Empire, among others. This is their third full-length album, uh, just put out by Satanath Records, limited to 700 copies. I was really happy I was able to get a copy of this. I know 700 might not seem... You know, might seem like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, if you can't find a place that has it, it can definitely uh, be a very tiny number to work with. And the last one for this, I'm really excited about this one. I, it was funny is I actually got this from, um, I believe, Stabby Hamlet is where I ended up getting this from. And I went on there basically to copy a link to the website to uh, making a post on Facebook. And uh, while I was, or no, it was for another video that I did where I mentioned Stabby Hamlet. And I uh, went there and I was like, well, while the video's up, like, I might as well just sit here and just flip through the, you know, new release, you know, newest uh, acquisitions on Stabby, you know, that they're putting out. And I saw this and I was like, holy shit, I've been looking for that. And it's on CD because I was expecting it to come out on tape, which I do believe it has. But uh, yeah, this is Sim to Me with demo number two. And yeah, these guys are a melodic death metal band with members split up between Chechia and the UK. Been around since 2019. This is their second demo, as it title clearly says put out by metal age productions on cd uh this actually includes their first demo demo number one as bonus track so really awesome melodic death metal i was really impressed with their uh, first demo and i actually listened to this on Bandcamp when it was just a digital file and i heard that uh, head split was supposed to be putting out a cassette at some point had not been seeing it had not been seeing it kept checking their site Still hadn't got it, and then I saw this on Stabby Hamlet on CD, and I went ahead and snagged it. So, yeah, very happy about this. Go check out Symptomy. Awesome melodic death metal. All right, that is going to do it for this part. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing, and until next time, stay brutal.